hey it's Lil Lu welcome back to my channel I'm going to be making some African food this one is called palm butter soup it's actually more of a curry base so I'm just going to say I'm going to be making palm butter curry Liberian style you're going to need palm nut cream plantains for a side dish some shrimp bony fish dry chicken onions salt tomatoes so I made this pepper sauce so you're going to have to check it out and see how I made it at least three bay leaf at least four Maggie cube all-purpose seasoning vegetable oil for frying a blender or food processor and some garlic at least two heads up this is a really messy soup to make if you pay close attention I actually end up changing my white shirt to a different color so when you open your palm nut cream you're going to want to take off that top layer that I just took off in the spoon I actually end up leaving mine in just so that I can show you what happens when you leave it on and also if you watch my YouTube video about where I grew up in Africa it shows how this palm nut is processed okay with that being said you're going to want to strain this about three to four times I ended up doing it at least three times <laughs> so have you been in the situation where you're eating a really tasty meal and then all of a sudden you hear crunch <laughs> so this is the situation that's why we're straining this at least three to four times because you do not want to have that crunch when you're eating so this is the third time that I've strained it and if you can see it at the bottom of this bowl you can still see a little bit of sand so um, once you do that you're going to want to put it on the stove and add one Maggie cube while the pot is on the stove beginning to boil you're going to want to start the base part of the soup so you're going to need one half of an onion three fourths of a tomato and one garlic clove you're going to cut all that up and put it in a food processor or a blender I don't have a food processor so I'm just using a blender and then you're going to blend everything together put it in a bowl and set it aside I know I showed you plantains at the beginning of the video as one of the ingredients but I actually did not end up making the plantain in this video because it was not ripe enough so if you're going to be making it all you need to do is cut them up and fry it in a skillet with some vegetable oil so this is going to be a whole lot of multitasking what I'm doing here is making sauce to marinate the chicken with so it's just a little bit of onion one garlic clove one Maggie cube and a little bit of water and then I blend everything and then I set it aside for a little bit and then I cut up the chicken and then um, I check on the pot on the stove so once it's boiling like this that's when I added in the three leaves of bay leaf and then I added in the tomato sauce that I made and then I just let it boil and then I started preparing the chicken so I put the marinade on the chicken and then I marinated it and then I fried it so after that process I cooked my shrimp I ended up boiling it so don't forget about your shrimp and then once the shrimp is boiling I just go back to the pot and add in the spicy pepper if you do not like spicy food don't add it in and once the chicken is done just cut it up and set it aside so you see all that oil at the top of the palm butter that's what I was talking about at the beginning of the video you do not want all that oil on the top and once it starts looking like this thick curry that's when you start adding the meat and the seasoning so add the chicken and then one Maggie cube and then the shrimp the shrimp should go last because if it boils too much it's just going to end up really small so add the all-purpose seasoning the salt and the meat 
and then boil it for about five more minutes and then after that you are all done thank you so much for watching my video i hope to see you next time